Welcome back for another one, and today we're talking kayak duck hunting. So, as many of you guys know, I do a lot of hunting out of a kayak, and I get questions all the time from people asking me about the gear that I use, the blind that I use. So today, what we're gonna do is go through a whole rundown of the essential items that I think everybody should have when they go kayak duck hunting. Now, some of these items, they are either impossible to find or they might not be a necessity for you in particular. So today we're gonna go through all the basics and all of the gear that I've found over the years to be an essential for hunting ducks out of a kayak. So for those of you who have not been following the channel for very long, I hunt out of an Old Town Topwater 120 kayak. So it's 12 foot long. It's been pretty good. It's actually been one of my favorite kayaks that I've used so far. I had to uh, make a few adjustments to it and. It took me a little while to figure things out with it, but uh, overall, super happy with it. I'd highly recommend it because, I mean, it's super stable, it's built like a tank, and uh, it goes everywhere that I need it to go, and I'm able to get into some super shallow water with it. So that's one reason why I like hunting in a kayak, is I'm able to go in super shallow water, and I'm able to take my hide with me. I'm able to take a lot more gear than I can carry normally on my back or dragging behind me in a sled. And I'm able to uh, get back into far corners of marshes that don't allow boats with motors. So I'm able to go way back in there where people don't want to walk to. Kayaks are a very, very, very good option for anybody who's looking to get into some secluded areas. So as far as hunting out of this goes, there's two different ways you can use it. You can use it to get to your spot and then find your hide later or you can do what I prefer to do where I take my hide with me with a blind that goes on this kayak. So let's run through some essential gear that you are going to definitely need. First off is a good life jacket, PFD, whatever you want to call it. Um, I like this one. This one's from Old Town. They sent it with the kayak and uh, I always have it with me regardless of where I'm going. If I'm paddling, I've got this thing on because when it's cold outside, you never know what's gonna happen, and this thing could potentially save your life in a really bad circumstance. So always wear it when you're going places. But when I stop and I'm hunting out of it, I do take it off because it will affect my shooting, but I always have it somewhere where I can easily access it just in case something happens. And then you're also gonna need a paddle, of course. Now, the paddle is something that you need to actually pay attention to. Don't just go to Walmart and buy a paddle. This one is a fairly expensive paddle. It's made out of fiberglass and graphite, and it's super lightweight. And uh, I've paddled with the cheap ones that are made out of like aluminum. I paddled with this kind, and this kind is way, way, way better. So if you got a little bit extra money in your budget, don't cheap out on the paddle. It makes paddling those long distances a heck of a lot easier. So check this one out. All of, all of the kayak, the life jacket, and the paddle, they're all on Old Town's website if you guys wanna take a look at those. But now let's get into the essential hunting gear. When we're going in at night, we need some lights. Now these are just some little LED light cubes that I installed. I did a video on those a long time ago, so if you guys wanna check those out, uh, I'll leave a link to it somewhere on this video. But um, I highly recommend putting some lights on your boat because those morning paddles when it's dark outside, it can be a little sketchy when you only have a headlamp. These things make it a lot easier to see where you're going and uh, keeps you from knocking into things that you don't wanna knock into, like a stump, or uh, some rocks and I mean all in all whether you're paddling or setting up your decoy spread these lights are very useful and all you got to do is get one of those little 12 volt deer feeder batteries and it'll power these things so super lightweight as well now a few other things one is a floating gun case these things are great just in case your gun decides to uh, go overboard this will keep it afloat and be able to recover it pretty easily it's pretty hit or miss if I bring this or not I've started using it more but originally I did not, I just didn't want to have this taking up more space in the boat, so I didn't use it, but it's recommended to uh, keep your gun in a case while you're going out there because it can get locked up with ice, and that can be a big issue. I've had that happen before. My safety locked up with ice, and I wasn't able to shoot any birds um, right at first light because I didn't realize it was frozen. So um, always check that, and uh, it's recommended to bring a gun case. Now speaking of ice and when it's cold, you are gonna wanna have some waterproof gloves when you're paddling because when you're paddling, you're gonna get little drips of water on your hands. So I've just got some cheap little um, PVC gloves that I use. They're great for picking up decoys when it's cold or for paddling in. They're very inexpensive, so I recommend everybody get a pair of these because I've had those days where I didn't have them. It was really cold, my hands got wet, and it was just not a fun situation. So always have some waterproof gloves. Speaking of water, 
that is the enemy with anything that you bring. If it gets wet, it's gonna be cold. So I use a couple of things to help me out. One, I use one of these dry boxes. So I film my videos, I carry a lot of electronic equipment with me. So I keep cameras and everything in there, batteries, things of that sort, my phone, wallet, keys, everything fits in there great. So watertight, you just seal it up, it doesn't take up a whole lot of space and it's easily accessible for me to like change GoPro batteries and things of that nature. I just slip it on the side, I guess you can see it here, slip it right there and it doesn't take up a whole lot of room but it's there when I need to get something. Another thing is a good dry bag. I've seen a lot of people take their regular blind bags out in their kayaks and that's not something that I do. Uh, I've never tried it because I take cameras with me, so I can't afford things to get wet, especially $1,000 cameras. It's not easily, it's not very easy to replace those things. So I take a dry bag with me. So you can keep extra clothes in here, an extra jacket, uh, just in case you, you take a spill, you get wet. Uh, it's always good to have uh, something warm uh, to put on. So whether it's your big hunting jacket or just an extra hoodie, I mean, it can make a big difference. So these things are great. You just roll them down and then run that Velcro over. You can clip them on the sides. This one's a, a Rogers one. I really like it. It's got backpack straps. So uh, I really like using this thing, but that's a great tool for anybody in a kayak. They make tons of different sizes of them. So find the size that you think you need and uh, go with that because it's going to be a lot easier to recover this if it falls over because it's going to probably float if there's any water in there and everything's watertight. Uh, your blind bag, probably not so much. So everything that I bring on my kayak, I'm very minimal. I bring my shells, my calls, my cameras, a headlamp, and my gun and decoys. So I try to break, I try to get rid of all the unessential items. So what I do with my shells is I put them in one of these. So everybody's probably got one of these or seen one. Throw your shells in here. I just keep them right next to me in the boat. And when I shoot, reach down, grab three more shells, two more, whatever. And it's right there, right where I need it. And it slides into this bag very easily. Everything that I take fits inside this bag and in the tank of the kayak. So that makes it very easy to get your shells. You're also gonna wanna get a good headlamp. This one is like a $20 headlamp on Amazon. It's super strong, super powerful, and it makes paddling in in the dark easy because one, I've got the lights on the front, but this I'm able to see in all directions and see where I'm going. So <clears throat> always have a good headlamp with you and the off chance maybe those lights die, something happens, you have a good headlamp, you're not stranded in the dark somewhere. Up next, decoys. You're gonna need some decoys. There's tons of decoys on the market that are great for kayak duck hunters. But for me, I've been using the Last Pass Mallards from Final Approach. They're smaller. They're not as big as like a full-size decoy. So I'm able to fit a lot more of these in my kayak than I am like a regular life-size life mallard decoy. So I've never noticed a difference between mallards decoying and full-size decoys versus smaller decoys. I highly recommend taking a look at some different styles of decoys that are a bit of a smaller size. I recommend the Final Approach Last Pass Mallards. That's what I've used. You can see here, exactly how much space these take up. This is two dozen mallard decoys in the tank of the kayak. So there's definitely plenty of room back there for more decoys or spinners or things of that nature in there just because I've got some smaller decoys. So I'm able to bring more decoys because the decoys are smaller and uh, I'm able to fit a lot more stuff. So I could probably fit a, do a dozen teal decoys in there, maybe some other things, but I'm telling you guys, I've used the full size. I've Oh, the neighbor's tree just fell over. That was intense. <laughs> Whoa. But I've used the full size, I've used the smaller ones, and I can say that the smaller ones work way better. And finally, the last part is my blind. And this is something that's not essential for kayak duck hunting. It definitely helps a lot. Whether you're building your own blind or you buy one, uh, they're a great tool and I've used Pretty much every time I hunt on my kayak, I'm bringing the blind and uh, using the kayak as a layout boat. So check this out. So pretty much all I gotta do is unclip the front here, unroll that, here's the doors closed, and then I used a bungee 
to hold this back piece on here. And here is what the blind looks like. I've got it brushed in with raffia grass. It works great for uh, kayaks and things of that nature. I've got a feather on here from last season, but uh, it hides so good. It just, it disappears. You can see I do take some natural brush and brush it in a little bit when I get to my spot and take care of things, but it just disappears into any kind of grass area that I hunt. And so something to note, if you're gonna do this, you want to make sure that your grass doesn't really hang super low because that can get soggy and gross and uh, it can actually make things a lot heavier and increase drag in the water. When you're hunting out of a kayak, you want to reduce as much drag as possible. It may seem like a great idea. Your decoys float. Let's attach them to the back of the kayak and paddle into our spot. No, do not do that. It is the worst idea you could ever come up with. If you're gonna drag something, drag a decoy sled. It works great. I've done that before and I highly recommend it. Let me show you guys kind of the final product of how I load this bad boy down. So here we have it. Up front, I normally attach my dry bag to one of these rails on the blind. So I'd clip that in right there. Just have it setting up front on the deck. If I've got spinners, I put the wings underneath this. You can also utilize this interior hatch if you want to. I usually don't. That's usually just where the lights uh, the battery for the lights goes, but that's definitely an option if you want to keep some stuff in there. But decoy gloves, I'd be wearing those. Headlamp, I'd be wearing that. Be wearing that. Be using this. Uh, over here, got my dry box. Phone, wallet, keys, batteries, whatever. Over here, I've got shells ready to go. And then back here, we've got decoys. And the gun is underneath everything. So hopefully I learned y'all a little something about kayak duck hunting. I've done it for a long time now and I feel like I've picked up a lot of things along the way and I wanted to share that with you guys. So um, you don't need everything here. This is just my recommendations. Take it with a grain of salt. Cater it to whatever environments that you hunt because I know everywhere is different. But these are the things that I've found to be essential for me. And I'm sure they would be essential for you. So that's about it today, guys. Drop me a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one.